the final chapter of the Kaiju Creative Japan saga. Though there were certainly some highlights worth mentioning, both Adam and I knew that real life was creeping up on us like the grim specter of death. After taking the Shinkansen back to Tokyo, we dropped our suitcases off at our final hotel and headed out for one last expedition. Back in Hibia, a definite mood lifter was coming across the newly installed Godzilla statue. This larger-than-life figure was installed in celebration of the franchise's 70th anniversary. Featuring lights, sounds, and even smoke effects, this is a definite eye-catcher for fans of the character and passerbys alike. And it's located right across from a 3-meter-tall permanent statue of the kaiju as he appeared in 2016's Shin Godzilla. With time continuing to tick away and the sun starting to dip below the horizon, we return to Abida. These are the steps, the famous um, Rocky Song steps. Okay. There we go. Toy Sue Fish Market. Yeah. Yeah. Our last day of submersion. Our last day. To grab a bite at the new Toyosu Senkyaku Banrai, a 24 hour spa and entertainment complex with a market area styled after an Edo era village, it just opened in February 2024 and features numerous food and drink options to tickle your taste buds. With early morning flights to catch, we retreated back to our hotel with one final pit stop along the way. The final dinner in Japan, it just had to be Family Mart. And I loved every goddamn bite of it. Ugh, depressing now. At the airport the next morning. But hey, I did find the Pokemon vending machine. Does that count as another Pokemon Center? Here we are, boarding time. Here we are, Haneda Airport. And uh, it all ends with a whimper, despite how fun it was when it started. And with that, this hopefully not once in a lifetime trip has reached its conclusion. It's time to leave Japan without Adam because of the way the check in worked here. So uh, don't show up more than three hours before your flight because there's no point to it. So uh, yeah, heading to LA now. Had a great time. We'll talk more about it at some point. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. We can't end on such a sad note. This was two weeks that I will never forget. It may have taken a while to get there in the grand scheme of things, but it was more than worth the wait. Japan lived up to and exceeded every expectation I had going into it, and it's hard to imagine having another two weeks in my life that topped the time I spent exploring Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka. In editing this series, I got to relive some of the amazing experiences that Adam and I had along the way, and I can only hope that it might be helpful for someone, somewhere, at some time, who's thinking about heading off on their own trip. But at the end of the day, don't let anyone else tell you what makes the perfect trip to Japan. Because if you're fortunate enough to go, then you'll have one hell of an experience no matter what any book, video, or person tells you. And as for me, I'm not saying goodbye to Japan. I'm saying, I'll see you soon. How